your hand a little wider than shoulders width, not too close. Keep it little wider than shoulders width. Because if when you do advance, when you slide your leg forward, so it will not be stuck. Keep your hand a little wider than shoulders width. Keeping your hand front, not the slide. That's the first step. This way. So you are shifting the weight over your arms. This way. And the first mistake here, bending the elbow. Okay, bending the elbow. Try elbow straight. Elbow straight. Elbow is straight. Now, next tip here. When you're lifting your hips up, right? Because you want to jump back. When you lift your hip up, you should think when you're lifting your hips up, you have to shift the weight forward over your arm. So using the arm strength to shift the legs back. So think of this way. After lifting your hip, you shift the weight forward. When you lean forward, you have to push your shoulders backward to counter the weight. Okay? So from here, shift the weight forward. When you shift the weight forward, a lot of stresses comes here in your wrist. Okay? So don't just go too much. So shifting the weight forward at the same time, use your hand is kind of you're dragging your hand forward. Okay? It pushes your shoulders back. So you counter the weight. You're shifting the weight forward at the same time pushing the shoulders backward. So result is your arms, your upper body is more stable and strong. So from here, Shift the weight forward, but at the same time pushing backward your shoulders and upper back is strong. Now, once your arms, your upper back is become stable and strong, then next step is your thighs toward the abdomen. So try to little hop, okay, and try to hold the body on your hand. For example, shifting the weight forward. Now see. So, you're not jumping this way. You're shifting the weight up and you have to shoot the leg back by using the strength from the arm. So, it's not like this. So, hop up and you're using your arms and shoulders to shoot the legs back. So, from here, shifting the weight forward See the difference? Shift the weight forward, lift the hips up and shoot back. What not to do? You are here, not shifting the weight, just jumping back. Okay, one more time, just see. Okay, don't do that. Always take time, do one time, but best one. It's much better than you try five or six times but worse okay so take your time so keep repeating this one when you shoot your legs back come to the plank house then plank to chaturanga this is very good in the beginning so you will learn the coordination and it's safe for your shoulders now once you're good in that one then after three months you start when you are in the air you bend the elbow and keep the weight forward, okay? When you keep the weight forward, you shoot the legs back. So I will show you a little swivel. So for example, elbow straight, shift the weight forward, shoulders stabilize, up. This action is actually quite quick, but it's under control, okay? So as you in the air, you have to keep the weight forward. 
So it's a lot of push from the hands to control the body. I'm going to show you one more time. So from here, stabilize and so this will happen with the time. I will recommend you first you stick with the first one technique at least uh, two or three months and uh, once you are very good then go for bending the elbow okay now back to front so when you do jump forward back to front so just look for this position remember sitting the weight forward shoulders back and keep the weight on the arm and pushing the thigh toward the abdomen so look for this position when you jumping downward dog to the front for jump through for example you are here now in the beginning is difficult because your feet is quite far away so for example you see shoulders cannot come front walk your feet forward and try this few round shoulders forward shift the weight forward and shoulders gently back okay it's kind of break so shifting and break shift break shift break so once you get the idea after shifting you are controlling your shoulder then try your thigh toward the abdomen so from here shift the weight forward break and so see same position when you jump back so just focus on this position downward dog walk your feet forward shift and here then hips down and do your posture once you are good in that one after two or three months then you can use the slide method so once your feet is coming down just provide So shoulder forward, stabilize. So jump back, jump through. It happens, it's quite quick. It's not that slow the way I'm doing. Now, I want you to do the same technique in your practice. And uh, go with your own pace. And just let me know how you feel. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.